Hi everyone, today I am back in central London, Shoreditch, Liverpool Street to be precise, and I've decided for my first video back in the UK, I'm going to visit Italy, which is basically a massive Italian supermarket. So if you are Italian, or you like your Italian food, or you like cooking Italian food, then this one's definitely for you. Keep watching. A stone's throw away from Liverpool Street train station in central London is what I've only described as the IKEA of Italian supermarkets. Italia is probably one of the biggest Italian supermarkets in and around London and is renowned for its top quality produce and Italian imports. Today I'm going to give you a quick stroll around this massive supermarket and give you a rough idea of what you can expect to find if you decide to visit Italia. To be honest with you, I'm not a wine drinker and I wouldn't have a clue where to start when it comes to talking about wine. But from the wine collection I've seen so far here at Italy, I think if you are a wine connoisseur, this could be a bit of an Aladdin's cave for you. I'm not saying that they've got everything here, but the chances are that if you can't find it here, you probably won't find it anywhere else. If you are planning to come here on a wine shopping spree, then I'd highly recommend bringing a massive trolley with you because they have got such a large selection and you really will be spoiled for choice. If it's Italian products you're looking for, you are not going to be disappointed. There is so much going on in this supermarket. I mean, look at this. Fine selection of olives and cheeses and cured meats for your charcuterie boards. that's not enough to top it all off you've even got a fresh seafood counter I mean what more can you ask for The upstairs bar is great with its Italian style layout, wide range of refreshments and some tapas style bar snacks. It's also got a fantastic view overlooking London. Yeah, I'll have a IPA is a umbrella. This bar's got a great atmosphere, a really chilled out vibe to it. Great service. I did only have a pint, but I'd have been quite happy to stay here and have a few more. And next door to the bar, you've got a fantastic massive restaurant. I'll be 100% honest with you, I didn't have anything to eat here, so I can't really make comment on that. If I did have something to say, it would be that I did think the drinks were a little bit pricey, but this is central London, and I guess that's to be expected. Moving on gracefully and heading downstairs, this place is full of surprises. I mean, look at this, another little fantastic cocktail bar with a great Italian vibe going on. Not only could you come down here and pick up all your Italian groceries, but you could actually spend the whole evening here having a few drinks and uh, chilling out. As to be expected, yet again downstairs you've got another Italian style open plan kitchen cafe come restaurant and the thing I love about this place is as soon as you walk through here, you 
you smell the freshly baked bread, focaccias, the artisan bread, the pizzas, all this amazing smell. It really is a mouth-watering experience. Maybe not so much in the winter, but definitely in the summer. If you are partial to a bit of al fresco dining, then Italy has got an outside dining area. Look at that. Chairs, tables, all set out for you. Have your dinner in the sunshine. And what a lovely place this is. Definitely well worth a visit if you're in the area. Italy, I've thoroughly enjoyed myself. This is Chef's Travels. Thanks very much for watching and hopefully see you on the next one. Cheers.